weekend homestead. Today, we're gonna clean up this messy shop. We worked super late last night getting all the electrical working in here, but before I move on to the next thing, I kinda have to clean up the floor. It's kind of a mess, so we're gonna take five minutes or an hour and straighten up our mess from yesterday, and then boom, solar time. Here we go. All right, now that we got it all cleaned up, let's get on to our solar project. So what I figured out was if I have a single solar panel up on the roof, 100 watt, and I have a 125 amp hour battery, that will fire up and control and run this entire system for a whole weekend. Plus, it'll give us the ability to charge phones, DeWalt, all that kind of stuff off of uh, the system, you know, kind of low power consumption type stuff. If I need to, I've got the generator. We can fire it up if I need to run a table saw or a chop saw, but right now it's kind of light. Let me show you kind of what I'm thinking of doing here. So what I ended up getting was somebody gave me this 400 watt power inverter. It's just a little guy, basically uh, real simple, small, um, has two outlets on the side and a USB. We're only gonna use one of the outlets. So we have our regular light switch here. We have an outlet right there. And of course our lights up on the ceiling across the way. And it all comes down to this one switch here, which is kind of the master on and off switch for the system. And all the way down to a plug. So what I plan to do is this plug will plug into this inverter, which will be mounted on a panel right here. Then down below here, I'm gonna have a box that'll have the battery in and everything else. We'll get some insulation in and so on. And then I'm gonna mount the rest of the solar stuff. So the power comes out of the battery, into the inverter, and out to the system. But that only is half the equation. So that gets our power out of the battery and into the system so we can use it, but how are we gonna refill that? So what we did was we got a 100 watt solar panel that'll go up on the roof up here. Those cables will come down and run into what's called a charge controller. What a charge controller does, very simply, is it controls the amount of charge that goes into a battery. So it'll keep filling up, filling up, filling up, filling up, till it gets to the point where it goes, ah, you know what? I'm full and what will happen is it will uh, stop charging the battery so you don't overcharge it we don't have any problems so step one is going to be we need to build some kind of platform and box one to uh, mount the equipment to so some kind of panel and two some kind of box because I don't want to store the battery on the floor so that's what we're going to work on right now I love the fact that we just hold on to everything I mean I, I, I don't hold on to garbage I hold on to useful stuff most people you know, you get little pieces of pressure treated two by four, you're like, ah, I'm not gonna use this for anything, and they throw it out or get rid of it or whatever. I hold on to stuff like this. We have a racking system, maybe it cost us about $200 to put it back here, but to have the ability to have basically lumber on demand, I don't have to go anywhere to get this stuff. So I probably have enough two by fours up here to build the uh, frame for the box where the battery will go. And you know, it's all out of pressure treated, so if we get some moisture in the corner, whatever it is, it's up off the ground. So that's kind of what we're gonna do right now. We'll get enough of this stuff to do that. So if you know anything about me, I like to build it just in case if, I know that one battery will easily fit inside the box, but I'm gonna make room for two, just in the off chance that I wanna double the size of this system, I can just add another solar panel, go a little bit larger with the inverter, and add a second battery. So if I'm building the box, why not build it so it's modular to be able to fit two in there? If I never put two in there, there'll be plenty of room for just the one. I'm also leaving a two inch gap around the outside in case I wanna take some foam board and put it inside there as a way to uh, kind of insulate this if I get to the point where I wanna insulate the box. But at this point, I'm just gonna make a stage to put it on and a board to mount the equipment. And then from there, we'll figure out what we wanna do next. So this is our battery. We're gonna get it out so we can do some measuring on it. Another one of my fancy unboxing videos. Seriously, I think this thing probably weighs a hundred pounds. Clean this mess up and we can measure this beast. Holy cow. This thing is heavy. Oh. Definitely not a master carpenter, but hey, it works.
Boom, perfect. Alrighty, so I got my battery up on the platform. Eventually we'll build a box around that. And then I'm thinking this board here will cut off right at there, screw it to there, screw it down to the bottom down there, and then all of our wires and everything will all run up that board and have everything nice and neat. Just so you know, this gasoline here is just here temporary. This is actually gonna move out of here. I don't really feel comfortable having the, that next to this, but for right now, it's just gonna sit that way, but we'll move it later. All right, so we've got our little platform, we've got our battery, we've got a mounting board. This is our inverter, and right up, up, up here out of the frame where you can't see is the power cord right here. So what we'll do, just as a temporary, hook up the negative, hook up the positive. I jump every time. Let's see. So the inverter is sitting here waiting. Let's plug this in. The moment of truth. Boom! So that little inverter is running up to this box right here. You can't see it because we're in the daytime, but all of our light switches work here. So there you go, very simple setup. Single battery to a single inverter to the wall outlet. It runs over to our light switches when we hit the switches on. The inverter turns on and our lights are working. We built a box for the battery. We've got the barn cleaned up a little bit. We've got our lights working in an off-grid situation. Now what we need to do is get our lights working in a solar scenario where Currently, if I left that on, eventually it would drain the battery all the way to the point of dead. We don't want that to happen, so what we're going to do in the next episode is this box right here. It's got a solar panel in it that we're going to put outside that's going to continually charge this system so that we can use it over and over again. Until then, it looks like everything's working as it should. I'm going to have to double check some of the stuff with regards to the ground, but the neutral and the hot wires are perfect, so just need to uh, get it set up to ground that thing and uh, we'll be on our way. But that's gonna have to happen next time. We gotta head back and get some lunch. I am starving right now. So until the next episode, this has been the Weekend Homestead, living a simple life, one weekend at a time. Thanks for watching.